How's it going, Granberry Church of Christ? This is Scotty Weaver, your youth minister with your next ministry minute. So for today's lesson, we're going to be looking in, second, in Galatians chapter 2, uh, verses 11 through 14. But when Cephas came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face, because he stood self-condemned. For until certain people came from James, he used to eat with the Gentiles. But after they came, he drew back and kept himself separate for fear of the circumcision faction. And for the other Jews joined and the other Jews joined him in this hypocrisy, so that even Barnabas was led astray by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not acting consistently with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas before them all, If you, though a Jew, live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you compel the Gentiles to live like Jews? So guys, we see here uh, in this passage that what Peter has done here is he's taken the gospel message uh, the message of this table being used as a place of fellowship, um, and he's distorted it. He's made this a different message now, uh, and he's made this a message saying that this table, rather than being a place of fellowship, is a place of division. It's a place of divide. And so Paul, as we see in these verses, has to come up to Peter, and as we see him say, he has to oppose Peter to his face uh, because of this message that Peter's preaching. Um, and we notice that Peter is only preaching it when these other Jews come around because Peter um, has allowed fear to take over. He's allowed fear uh, to get in the way of his teaching. He's allowed fear to distort the gospel message. So Paul has to hold him accountable. And thinking about that, I want us to look at the role of discipleship. Because oftentimes when we look at discipleship, we think of it as just this individual task, this like one-man task or individual effort that we have to do. Um, but what we see here is discipleship is also something that is done as the body. We must not forget that we have brothers and sisters in Christ here uh, that are trying to follow the same gospel message. And we have to be able to hold each other accountable uh, and help each other in that discipleship. And sometimes that looks like the hard job of opposing a brother or a sister to their face about the things that they're saying or preaching. And sometimes it's the even harder job of maybe being the one that has to be opposed. Maybe we're the ones that may be preaching wrong at points, and maybe we have to accept humbly uh, that there may be uh, a different form of discipleship that we haven't thought about yet, a different way of following Christ that shows the gospel message more than what we're currently doing. Uh, because see what Peter was doing there, it was distorting the message, and it was giving uh, not only these new Gentiles to the faith, but also these Jews the wrong message of what the gospel was. So Paul had to hold them accountable. And as brothers and sisters in Christ, we are called to do the same with one another. So my question for you as we close out this ministry minute is how are we going to disciple together? Because this isn't just an individual effort, as I said earlier, but it's the task of the body as well. So how as the body are we going to work together to grow closer to Christ and spread his gospel message? Thanks, guys. I hope that y'all consider that and think about it this coming week. And I hope that y'all will subscribe to our YouTube page to see more of our ministry minutes after this. Love y'all.